<laughs> Dude, I can't believe you got away with that. You swept it right out of the dean's office? Seriously? God damn, dude, you're invited to every party I ever throw. I... <sighs> One sec. I've got to go deal with something real quick. Come here. I thought I told you last time to stop showing up at my parties. Well, you're uninvited. You creep me out. You think I can't see you when you're following me around campus in town? Like, I can't hear your phone camera when I'm working out? Just... just stop following me, okay? What? No, I'm not in love with you, what the hell? <laughs> you can see the signs? What does that even mean? <sighs> you know what? Doesn't matter. Just st Oh, hey, D. Uh... D? You... You alright? Why are you, uh... Looking at her like that. You, you hungry or something? Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh, hell yeah, I'm down. Uh, bathroom's right over here. Hey, are those colored contacts or something? Hi. Who? Oh. Oh, D. Yeah, yeah, she's taking a nap in the bathtub. She'll wake up in a while. They always do pretty quickly. You look amazing. Just absolutely del stunning. Stunning. My eyes? No, they've, they've always been this color. You, you must be mistaken. Like, like I was mistaken. Being mean to you all this time. Yeah, I'm serious. What kind of an idiot would turn down a perfect human like you? Hey, do you, do you want to come to my bedroom with me? I, uh, I hate crowds and parties. Yeah, I know it's my party, but now I hate crowds and parties and anything that isn't you. I just really want to be with you right now, you know? I've waited so long for this chance. You don't know how long I have been de- I mean, hey, look at that. My arms are massive now. I can literally just- <clears throat> There we go. I'll just take you there myself with my, uh, honestly impressive body. Damn. Uh, I take it from the look on your face that you don't mind me carrying you to my bedroom in front of a shocked crowd? I, uh, I didn't think so. your hair, your face, your clothes. You're so perfect. Just like how I knew you'd be. <laughs> and and the way you're staring at me, I you like me, right? You like how I look? Actually, let me get a better look at him in his mirror. Oh. Oh, wow. I stuck around with D long enough to still appreciate this. Good grief, he's ripped. I have never had a six pack before. I can see why you like me, I think. Oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Can you give that back to me? I, I, I don't want to rush you or anything. Did... You just... Did you just... Put my shirt in your purse? How are you so perfect? I did the same thing with one of your shirts at your sleepover a few weeks back. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, Kara did that. I, I heard. Hey, just, just ignore that, actually. Just, just 
ignore that. Slip of my tongue. Hey, did you know that Kara and Dee went on a date a few weeks back? <laughs> Small world, right? Let's just ignore all that, though, okay? Let's let's talk about other things. I remember how you watched me in the gym. Don't you don't you like the view up close? I want you sitting right there with me while I'm lifting every day, especially in the gym. I don't want you looking at those other assholes in there, okay? That would, that wouldn't be good, okay? Huh? Oh, well, yeah, of course, I wouldn't want to look at any other girls there. I mean, why would I want to when you're with me? Yeah, I, I swear. I only have eyes for you, baby. You're gonna have so much time to spend watching me. Thanks to those test grades I bumped for you a few months back in your biology course. <laughs> that Tony bumped for you. Tony, not not me. No, it, it, it was Tony. Uh, how would I know what Tony did? Uh, well, I... I mean, I heard about Kara and the sleepover from... <laughs> Look, D is literally just asleep. I'm not even lying about that. They're just colored contacts. Why does everyone ask that? Those actually exist. Oh, okay. Fine. Enough of this. Listen. You don't need to be afraid of me, okay, baby? I care about you. I, I love you. I only have your best interests at heart, okay? I swear. I've done all of this for you, for us. You want to be with me, don't you, baby? You love my face, how I smell, how I talk. Did you just handcuff me to my own bed frame? Why the hell did you handcuff me? Oh, please, please don't call anyone or tell anyone about this. I swear. What? What? <laughs> There's nothing to know. I I'm an open book. No, no, please. Really. There's no. Ow. Okay, fine. You really want to know the truth? Okay. I'm. I'm not really this jackass. I'm inside him. In his head. I hopped up his nose and through his nasal cavity about 15 minutes ago. How did I know about all the other stuff? <laughs> oh, well that's easy, that was all me. Yeah, seriously. I'm him now, but I got here by hitching a ride on D for a few weeks and luring him into the bathroom to make the hop. I actually hopped to D because someone said you two used to be friends, but eh, it turns out you had a nasty falling out. She thought you were weird about this guy for some reason. I don't really get it myself. It just seemed to me like you were in love. Exactly. Why are we the only ones who seem to understand that around here? Anyway, this party was actually a godsend. As soon as I found out that he was hosting it, I set up a dummy phone number and forwarded you the invite from D. Before D, I was Kara. Remember the sleepover? And how you kind of thought she was acting weirdly? It was because I was. Th that was... Kind of when I ruled out you being into Kara and stole your shirt as a consolation prize. <laughs> God, I love that shirt. It's actually in Dee's car right now. I keep it with me wherever I go. I got to Kara from Jeremy. You know, the one from the campus coffee shop. That one, honestly, I'm not too proud of. That was really gross. I actually sort of sneezed myself into her drink. That espresso shot was not going to help her with that exam that morning, even if I hadn't been riding shotgun. That guy, Jeremy, was actually sort of a fact-finding mission for me. I used to spy on you while you were reading in the cafe. Well, reading. I know now that you were actually just spying on this guy, but I didn't know that at the time. I got to Jeremy from his roommate, don't ask how that worked, but I actually got to his roommate purely by accident. Absolute moment of horror followed by a pure stroke of luck. Jeremy's roommate was in a lab run by that TA, Tony, who had the most awful sinus infection I've ever seen. Somehow he actually managed to sneeze me out during class. And then Jeremy's dumbass roommate actually sniffed at me 
like with luck, right? Anyway, before that, I was bumping up your grades for the class as Tony. I got to Tony from his girlfriend, Abby, and I got to Abby from her side piece, June. Poor Tony. Guy's worth more than that, honestly. But I got to June from her puppy. Ew, ew, no, 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 not, no, no, not like that. Jeez. She liked to give him little nose kisses. I jumped ship from there. But do you remember the puppy? <laughs> no, of course she wouldn't. That puppy was actually the first thing I ever hopped into. I don't remember anything before that, and I wasn't even in control of it. I was just observing. You found him lost outside their apartment and brought him inside. And that was how we first met. That was how I knew how kind and sweet and beautiful you are. That was when I fell in love with you. And ever since then, I've been trying to get back to you. Not to become you or anything. No, no, I want to be with you. Like we're supposed to be. Honestly, I was afraid that I'd have to be the one who handcuffed you to be able to explain all this. <laughs> Seriously, there's a pair of fuzzy cuffs in Dee's purse. It was the best I could do at short notice. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I suppose that I'm not technically this guy, but... He's such a jerk to everyone. He's practically a psychopath. He doesn't know how to love you the way that I do. I don't even think he's capable of feeling love for another human being, to be honest. No, no, please, don't try to remove me. I'm begging you. I love you. What? You cuffed yourself to me. <laughs> oh. Oh, you cuffed me to you. You get it, don't you? You get me. I mean, yes, I'm also quite literally the guy of your dreams, and this is like the stars aligning for you, that too, but honestly, that makes perfect sense to me, babe. Like, I can dress however you want, as long as you don't try to leave. And of course, I'll never try to leave you. I mean... Babe, I don't think either of us could leave if we tried. How about we just lay here together, nice and physically inseparable, like we've always dreamed of being with one another? Just, just lay your head on my chest, babe. What's that? Yeah, babe, this is incredibly messed up. But they just wouldn't understand. They're not as possessive as we are. the blanket around yourself.